If you have been playing in your Minecraft world for a long time like I have, then you've probably explored a lot of it and have a lot of chunks around your world that you are not using. When a new version of Minecraft is released, particularly a version where the world generation is changed like it is in 1.17, then the areas of your world that generated before that version will not be updated to the new stuff. There are two solutions to this. You could go really far away to find new chunks, but you might not want to do that, which is understandable. What you could also do is delete any chunks that you have explored but not built anything there. These chunks are basically wasted and could be put to better use if they use the new terrain generation. That is what we're going to do today using a program called MCA Selector. The first thing you're going to need to do is go to this website right here and I will have a link to this in the description. And there is a lot of great information on this page on how to use this application. It goes into a lot of detail of all the features, but what we're looking for is the download link. So if you just scroll down all the way to the bottom, you will find a section entitled downloads just here. And as I'm using Windows, I'm just going to click on the Windows installer. All you need to do here is click save file, open it up, and it's a very easy installation process. Once you've got that done, open up MCA Selector, and I'll see you there. Okay, so once you open up MCA Selector, you should see something a little bit like this. So this is blank at the moment. We need to open our world. But before we do this, something very, very important, you need to make sure you back up your world. Anything that MCA does, it does it instantly and there is no undo. You have to make sure you're doing this on a backup just in case something goes wrong. So with that in mind, we'll go to file and open world. I have my main single player world and then this copy that I've just made. So I'm just going to click on this and then select folder. And then we then have three options. We have these two for the nether and the end, but what we're interested in today is the overworld. So make sure this top one selected and click OK. So now we're just waiting for this to load up. And this can take quite a while depending on the size of your world and also on the speed of your computer. But we're just going to let this do its thing and then we'll have a look at this in a second. Okay, so that is now all loaded. And if you've been following my single player series, you may recognize some of the things of what's going on around here. I'm just going to zoom in with the scroll wheel. And if we just go in here, this is my starter village. And then here we've got the quad witch perimeter. And then down here, the latest thing I've been working on is my new guardian farm. And then over here, we've got the Badlands projects with the Blackstone Bridge. So those are the main features in this world. Now, what I could do, if I just want to delete everything apart from that, I could just start clicking on the areas around that. So I can just click in these big squares here. And these are the regions when we're zoomed out this far. If we zoom further in, we can just we'll start to see the smaller lines and these are the individual chunks. So we can actually click on these and just delete one chunk at a time or we can click and drag and that will select a range of chunks. And then if we want to deselect them, we just right click and then we can right click and drag as well or we can just individually right click on individual chunks. And if we zoom out, we can right click on the region and that'll get rid of it. But doing it that way could cause a few problems. And there may be some things, for example, underground that you may not be aware of or that you've just forgotten about. So luckily, MCA has a lot of tools that you can use to select chunks based on certain criteria. And the one that I'm really interested in is the time spent. So if we just go up to the tools menu and then to filter chunks and the shortcut for that is control and F, you get this pop up. So what this is doing is selecting chunks based on their X coordinate. And this is the chunk coordinate, not the block coordinate so I did get confused with that at first but we're not actually going to use these straight away what we're going to do is click this button here to add a new filter and then with this drop down we can change it to inhabited time and we do have lots of different things that we can filter by but the inhabited time I think is the most useful so if we click on that what we can then do is set this to less than or equal to any amount of time that you want and this is in game ticks so 20 ticks is one second I think I'm going to do it for 10 minutes. I think that's a good amount of time. You may chop down a couple of trees in an area. You do that in less than 10 minutes or anything you've flown through. You definitely do that in less than 10 minutes. So 10 minutes in ticks is 12,000. So we'll add that to that. And if we click OK, this will start selecting the chunks that you have spent less than 10 minutes in. So if just like that, everything there will highlight orange. And as you can see, there's a lot. There's a lot of places I've explored and spent hardly any time in at all. And this, these are the ones I want to get rid of. So at this point, if you have a fast enough computer, 
you could actually just delete these now. So you go up to selection and then delete selected chunks. But I'm not going to do that because I have tested this previously and my computer just can't handle it. If we look down at the bottom, we have a few properties there and one of them says selected. So that's telling me I have 60,434 chunks that I'm going to delete. With a little bit of testing, I've found out that I can only delete about 10,000 chunks at a time. So I'm going to try and keep it to less than that. So what we're going to need to do is actually add another filter. So if we go back up to tools and then click on filter chunks again, what we can actually do here is add another filter and then we change this to exposition. So this I'm going to put less than, let's try negative 100. And what it should do is select everything over here that's less than 100, but has been inhabited for less than 10 minutes. So let's do that. Okay, so that, now that's done, and it's now only selected 9,649. So that's about a number I should be okay to do. So what I'm going to do is go up to Selection, and then Delete Selected Chunks. And then we get a warning to say it's going to delete that many chunks, asking me if I'm sure. And if I click OK on this, there's no going back. I can't get these back, which is why we're doing this on a backup. Okay, so I've clicked OK there, and it refreshes the map, and as you can see, those chunks that I've just deleted, those have gone. So now all I'm going to do is go into this filter again and change this by 100 every time. So we're on negative 100 now. So I'll just change this to zero. Click OK on there. And this will select everything below zero. And it'll leave these alone because these have been inhabited for more than 10 minutes. Because this is a bigger section than what was here, this is now 15,000. And I'm not confident about that. So what I'm going to do is go back into filter chunks again. I'll change this to negative 50. Okay, so we try that again. And now that's 8,653. So I'm okay with that. So let's delete that one. And there we go, let's refresh again. So I'm just gonna keep going back into here, filtering these chunks and until we've got all the way to the end and we've only got chunks that we spent a lot of time in. Okay, so that is now all done. We have trimmed off a lot of chunks from this world and this is looking a lot better. So we've still got all the main stuff, We've got the starter village here with the quad witch up perimeter, the badlands mining area, and then over here we've got the ocean monument. These three little spots here, these are three more ocean monuments that I did take over, so I'm definitely not going to delete those. Don't want to have to kill the older guardians again. And there's a, just a few more spots over here. So this is my main mining desert that I use for sand. This, I think, is where I bred turtles when I was doing my gold farm. This here is where my end portal is. And then down here we've got a jungle where I've chopped down some jungle trees. And then similarly here for a dark oak forest. So that is it. That is how you trim your world chunks ready for new terrain generation in a Minecraft update. So now I am ready to go into this world in Minecraft 1.17. And that is exactly what I'll be doing in the next episode of my single player survival series. So if you're not subscribed, please do so now and click the bell to be notified of all uploads. And hopefully I'll see you in this world very soon. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye-bye.